This cannot be true. We will not leave the young men in parliament who are standing for the right thing to be left on their own. As a matter of fact, no MP in Ghana should live in a fool's paradise. If you don't stand for the right thing, your constituents will show you the way out. And I say this thing without fear or favor, that this whole nonsense about if you stand against LGBT, you'll not be given chance to go to America and England. There are people who have never gone to Togo before. They live here, they live well. But we should be very mindful of the fact that there are cultures that are on Ghanaian. This is not our tradition, this is not our culture. So it is not something we should, we should really condone. Plus, beyond that, spiritually for me, I think it's an abomination. And I think this is one area that the Muslims, the Christians, and all the religious organizations in Ghana really have come on the same. So the politicians who want to be politically correct, they should be very careful. This can affect you. Those of you, especially in parliament, who want to play it safe, by the time the votes come and you notice that people there know you are part of that, you will be regretting it. And by that time, it will be too late. This nonsense must stop.